Hello and welcome back to the USL Online Application Tutorials. My name is Abdul Bissise and we are going to continue with the application process from where we left off in the last video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So far so good, we are now in step 3. This step is all about your educational background. Let's start with your secondary school education. The first field which is checked by default is compulsory and the other two are not. This section makes provision for three different schools and if you are going to fill in all three of them, make sure you fill in the most three recent schools you attended. And don't forget to check the boxes as you go along. Next, your entry qualifications. Select the examination body you got your qualification from. Select the examination year. Type in your candidate number. And the YX sketch card number is only applicable to WASC results. Other than that, just select the examination body, examination year, and candidate number. WASC result 1. In this section, you are going to fill in the subject and grades as they appeared in your results. Note, this section is cascaded, meaning if you select mathematics from the first field, it would not be available in the second field. This is to prevent you from making a duplicate selection on one result as there is provision below a second result. Make sure you check the boxes on the right to activate the fields or you can't make a selection. Continue with the same process if you have a second result, or else leave it blank. University or college degree. This field is only applicable to those who might have completed a degree from another college or the same college they are trying to enroll in. If this doesn't apply to you, just uncheck the box on the right and move to the next section. Other educational qualifications. If you don't have a degree but have some professional qualification, enter the details here and you can enter a maximum of three other qualifications. If this as well doesn't apply to you, just uncheck the box on the right and click on save and continue. This is step four, work experience information. As I've been saying, if this section doesn't apply to you, uncheck the box on the right and move to the next section. Name and addresses of two referees. This section is self-explanatory and all the fields are compulsory. I will go on and fill them in high speed mode. When you are through, click save and continue and move to the next section. Step five, financial guarantor. This section is probably the most important section. Make sure you read and understand every sentence written here. This section determines whether you are going to become a student or not. If you are good, complete the details below. When you are done, click save and continue. This is step six, student document. Make sure your documents are in either PDF, Word, or scan image format. The documents required here are your WAS result or equivalent, your birth certificate, school living testimonial, and any other documents stated in the previous sections. Make sure you name and date the document appropriately when uploading them. What I'm trying to say here is that don't type in file name, birth certificate, and upload a WAS result. Name and upload the appropriate document. I 
I would go ahead and upload the sample document in high speed mode. You got the idea. When you are done uploading all the necessary documents, it's only this time the next button is available to us. All along we have been clicking on the save and continue button. So this time for us to move to the next and final step, we have to click on the next button. Click next and let's proceed to the final step. This is the final or verification step. Here you have to review and verify all your details. Feel free to go back and make all the necessary changes before you submit your application because once you submit your application there is no going back to make any further changes. So make sure you review all your entries section by section until you are satisfied with every entry before you click the submit button. If everything looks good, let's agree to the terms and conditions before we submit and print the application. If by mistake you forgot to agree to the terms and condition, you won't be able to submit your application. This is very important. So now let's agree, submit and print the form. Once you click on the submit and print, the print preview dialog box would appear. You can either print the application directly from a printer if there is one attached and it should appear here. If not, save as PDF file and print later. And that marks the end of the tutorial. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing. <music>